Hail and Meshes Adventurers, let's peel back the layers and uncover the secrets of Baldur's Gate 3. I'll be a trusty guide even with my vegetable accent. When you create character, it's a nice idea to start with picking a class. But it's a role-playing game after all, so why not to start from picking your favorite race? And if you are draw in your heart, that's nice to pick best class for your race. So when you pick in draw, there's two types of draws, but actually they not differ too much. Most important race futures will be keen senses that will increase your proficiency in perception checks. Dexterity plus 2 to dexterity is very nice because it increases your armor class and damage with some uh, melee weapons and range weapon. And plus 1 to charisma. This is important start for some spellcasters like bards, sorcerers and warlocks. Additionally, magic can't put you into sleep. It's very strong future. You got superior dark vision, so you're not afraid of dark places. And additionally, you have dancing lights cantrip, so you can illuminate some area to see better, and this will increase accuracy in dark areas too. So, what class should we pick for draw? Let's go to the class selection. And first good class for draw will be rogue, of course. Rogue is stealthy class, mostly relying on some stealthy actions, and most proficient with daggers, rapiers, or even ranged attacks with bows or crossbows. Cool rogue action is sneak attack, you can do it with ranged or melee weapon. This will give you advantage against targets, and this means that you will hit most likely. If you want to play rogue as draw, or draw as rogue, <laughs> you can use this uh, ability allocation. So basically you don't need any strength, so we just put uh, zero in it. We max out on dexterity, we go 15 in constitution, we go 12 into intelligence in the wisdom and 10 into charisma total. It's basically only one point into charisma because we got plus one charisma from draw race. And this will give us uh, awesome point allocation and uh, on level 4 where you can put uh, some stats. You just put plus one into dexterity and plus one into constitution for plus three bonus and plus four bonus in dexterity. This will give you pretty balanced and interesting to play a rogue. In my opinion, it's one of the best fighter classes for draw. While you can actually pick any fighter class and it will work, Rook is very nice and balanced and really strong as draw. And other classes that draw can use is Sorcerer. So, draw Sorcerer will be very nice. There's two types of Sorcerers, but they all really benefit from our Charisma stat. There are two types of Sorcerers. One is being Draconic Bloodline. So with Draconic Bloodline you get these awesome scales on your face. You can pick actually color, but <laughs> that's not for this guide. The most important part is that you will have more hit points. It's very nice to have more hit points when you play in magic class, because they more of the time is uh, really squishy. And Draconic Resilience will give you 13 armor class even if you wear zero armor. Additionally, you pick what draconian, uh, draconic ancestry you can have, and you, and this will give you resistance to some damage type and increase your damage of these spells. Sorcerers got four can trips available from the start, and there are many options from fireball to really good damage can trips to some minor illusions that will have you uh, help you survive or even Mage Hand, which will give you some flexibility to roleplay and some awesome stuff that you can just imagine and do some stuff with this Mage Hand. And also two spells, which require spell slots and do really massive damage. These spells can be changed after you level up. And Wild Magic Sorcerer have ability to increase power of uh, his own spells, so this is a really powerful class too. And most of the time Sorcerer is really require a lot of charisma, that's why we draw comes in handy. So with the uh, dexterity bonus you can increase your armor class actually and drop some points in it, then you just go all in into charisma and some points into constitution. This way you will have a lot of HP, some armor class and great spell damage. You don't need any strange and just go into wisdom and intelligence for, for other points that left. This way you can build really balanced and awesome sorcerer draw. And next good class for draw is of course Bard. Bard using some finest weapons 
and all some instruments that they can actually play on and increase the power of their team or decrease power of enemies. Part comes with some cantrips, basically two cantrips, which is most of the time help you increase your power in some areas of the fight or most likely when you just go in uh, and exploring some stuff. Bard got access to a lot of spells, four spells, same as wizard. And the spells is mostly utility spells that will have you or your party members. This uh, spells can heal you or your party members. And some interesting stuff like speaking with animals. This will have uh, help you role play and with other stuff. This bonus action bardic inspiration. What I told you, you use your instrument and basically inspire for 1d6 bonus to the next attack roll, ability check or saving throw. This helps to roleplay, this helps to actually fight battles and this is awesome because this is only bonus action. For Bart abilities just go recommended. Zero strange as other classes that draw uses, 16 dexterity, 16 charisma, 10 wisdom, 12 intelligence and some constitution and you will increase constitution later on. And last but not least, my favorite class for draw is warlock. Warlock is awesome class with two subclasses, the Great Old One and the Fiend. My favorite is Fiend because Fiend comes with awesome subclass future, Dark Swan Blessing. So when you kill hostile creature, it will give you temporary hit points. And they actually benefit from Charisma stat. That's why draw is really great race for Warlock. Warlock comes with two cantrips and basically Eldritch Blast is bread and butter of Warlocks. As cantrip it doing 1d10 damage and it can be buffed with uh, some hex magic spells that Warlock have, so this is just awesome awesome and very powerful spell casting class. For ability distribution just go full dexterity, full charisma, just drop some into wisdom and intelligence and constitution for your HP. And this is best classes for throw. But if you want to actually play Warlock class, watch this video on the screen right now. This is great Warlock guide for early game build. Join the kingdom, subscribe for the Spot King.